You'd rather have an interception or a sack? Am I, what's this interception? Am I, am I taking it back to the house? <laughs> All right, big day on Bootleg here after day one of the Shrine Bowl. We got LB1 here, Edron Cooper from Texas A&M. How you doing? I'm uh, doing good. How are you? We're doing great. I know you're a lot busier this week than we are, but so far, <laughs> how's your Shrine process been? Oh, it's been good. You know, it's great to see all the guys that, you know, you played against or all the big drop prospects, you know, around. You know, everybody I talk to each other. You know, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. So... Pride of Texas A&M, love your game, love your frame. I think you bring a lot of versatility, a lot of speed. We're going to show you a couple of your plays, walk you through them, pick out. You can tell us how you made these plays because we can see you make them, um, but we want to show everybody some of the great traits that you're going to bring to the game. So we're going to walk through a couple of your plays and you're going to pick them apart. First one, we got this tackle power, which I'm sure you recognize from the Tennessee game. I want to know what you saw on this look that made you not only because you guys boxed it right on the front side and so not only did you box it and you were kind of waiting there in the hole and then he tried to press it but then you're like you know what i'm gonna go one step further i'm gonna back door this thing what would what'd you see pre-snap and what'd you see post-snap uh pre-snap no i think i had a yeah i had a blitz on this so i was reading his guard he came out and once that tackle i felt that tackle pull I was going to go around, but I felt that opening, so I just sat there. You know, the running back, was he was squared downhill, so I just stayed squared downhill right with him and just made the play. Another favorite of mine, I'm sure you recognize this one too. Yeah. Your TFL against outside zone uh, against New Mexico. One thing, and this is a, a nitty-gritty coaching point, but our audience loves this yeah. stuff. Your shin angles, so your feet are real wide, your knees are, are kind of narrow. I know a lot of coaches call that positive shin angles. Can you talk about how that stance – helps you have such a wicked quick first step oh uh, it's just you no know, just having the knees and legs is just locked and loaded in and just ready to move either direction and then on the read here so obviously the the split in that backside a gap is super wide you know you got a two eye to the front side of the run are are you anticipating anything in particular here just based on the front and the split or are you just rock and roll we'll read it and go with it oh uh, it depends no i like to read his guard you no know, some of them be kind of deep if you play this clip, it was kind of deep. So I knew he's going to be a little step, uh, step behind. So I was like, hey, go hurry up and cut in front of him and they'll dip him. And I knew he was a heavy leaner in front of the, uh, the whole game. So I didn't waste no time. Just use the hands. Just hurry up, get in front of him, give him a little dip, you know, and just make the play. And you got there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thing that connects both of those plays for me, even though they're different plays, different reads, different offenses, is the fact the speed you bring to both of those plays Surprise the players you were playing against. Like Tennessee back, he was reading you. He was like, all right, he got you to commit in the middle. He's like, I'll go outside. Didn't matter. You were there quicker than he thought. Down he goes. New Mexico, same thing. You're like, guard's coming. He's keying on your shoulder, and you just dip him by, and then you're in the back's face. So talk about how speed just makes your game going forward and going backward. Oh, yeah, you know, it, it helps a lot. It really helps a lot. You know, being able to, uh, you know, just make up for steps or anything like that, and, you know, some guys are a little bit slower than others. So it, it allows me to get a step ahead in front of the offense for sure. One question that I'm sure you're going to get a lot from the teams is uh, in coverage, not necessarily because you're – I mean, you're obviously super fast. Yeah. You can match up with anybody, but the system that you played in, a lot of it was like, I'm dropping in the hook zone, I'm dropping in the hook zone, I'm dropping. You didn't really get to show off like, hey, I can I can carry this yeah. dude down the field. Are you getting asked about that a lot by teams uh, in, in terms of how your, how your system was structured in Texas A&M, or are you more just kind of looking forward to the combine, do the drills, and show like, hey, I can open up and run with these guys because yeah. I can run 4-4? Four, four. Yeah, I mean, I had a few, a few, a good bit of times. I actually had to run receivers during the games, but, you know, I haven't really been asked about them uh, too much, but they know I can cover it. You know, they know I'm up for uh, any challenge, so that's why I like the versatility about me that, you know, I'm a linebacker that you can put in a lot of different positions, and, you know, you can trust me. We know you're good at both in terms of am I a Mike, am I a Will. Do you have one that you prefer just based on your strengths? I mean, it really depends on the defense that's being run or whatever. But, you know, I like to bring pressure, you know, off the edge and stuff. So Will part of the type of guy I like to be. And, you know, running stunt movements, blitzes and stuff like that to the offense. And, you know, that's probably my best spot. <laughs> and put you on the spot. You'd rather have an interception or a sack?
Okay. My, with his interception, am I, am I taking it back to the house? <laughs> right, you can call it a you know you can call it a strip sack, scoop and score, pick six. Either way, strip sack. I'm going strip, with the strip sack. sack. All right, okay. all right. Yeah. He's a linebacker at heart. He's yes, like, he I, is. I want to hurt people. Yes, he is. That just answered the coverage question. Are there any particular linebackers that you model a game after? Oh, uh, I like to watch Fred Warner. The way he moves oh, yeah. along the sideline. You know, I feel like we uh, relate in some aspects. So. That's the guy I like to watch. Well, it's the same level of athleticism. Yeah. You know, you, you're you're a rare linebacker in the sense that you can just put your foot in the ground yeah. and go, and like it doesn't. It, sometimes it doesn't make sense yeah. how yeah. quick you can do that. And so I'm kind of selfishly, I'm a Texas fan. I hope you get to go to Houston, work with D'Amico Ryan's. You know, be that LB one of the future. Uh, are there any particular systems that you kind of look at in the NFL where you're like, ooh, I could get 150 tackles there? Oh, uh, whoever. It really don't matter to me, but you no, know, I'd rather be in a spot who use their linebackers to blitz a lot and you know, just bring pressure to the offense, to the quarterbacks. And you no, know, I like the disguise and hey, I pop out of nowhere off the edge. So just things like that, systems like that. Brian Flores, if you're listening. <laughs> That's right. I think your talent translates to just about any system, but one of the things we always say is that you guys are the best scouts that we see. You're in practice with these guys every day. You're playing against great athletes. But if we're talking about your team, if we're talking about a and who's going to be sitting in that chair next year that we need to know about? Who's coming up? It's been a few of them, guys, but 100% definitely Shamar Turner. He's a, hard, he's a hard worker, hard worker. In terms of players that you played against, I don't want to say they gave you fits, but you know, were you recognized on the field like, oh yeah, I'm gonna see him for the next ten years when I'm in the league? Who's the one that sticks out to you? Uh, to be honest, I really don't know. I, I never really ran into someone who, I mean, they had good backs. Uh, old Miss running back, uh, what's his name? Oh, Judkins. Yeah, Judkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's, a he's a great player. You no, know? he has great vision, but you no, know, he's a guy that really caught my eye. Well, a lot of speed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> speed, power, shift, you know, everything, yeah. everything. Oh, we could not thank you enough for your time. We can't wait to see where you go. You know, probably going to be in the top 32 somewhere. So congratulations in advance from us on that. Thank you, thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. Hey, thanks for taking time. Yes, sir.